Okay, hi guys. Usually I don't do too much talking. That's a lot. I do. I just want to go through some quick things that everybody always asks me. Especially this one right here. Uh, what kind of epoxy do you use? Loctite. Extra time. It's kind of hard to find it at Home Depot or Lowe's. I did find it at Menards, but it stopped ca carrying it a while ago. Uh, I like it because it settles down extra, extra time. What woods am I using? Uh, in this order, I'm not even really sure. Back at River Call, Zebra Wood, Tulip Wood, Ibarra, and Chechen. Have you ever heard of them? Fuck no. I'd rather hear them. I'm also using nickel silver bolsters and Lari blades. And this is going to be a quick video on how we actually put them together and made a four set of knives. Okay, so we're going to find center in these blocks. Uh, I'm going to do it with zero wood first. So you pretty much take a um, corner. I hate this ruler because I have cardboard in the back. And hopefully you can see from the recording. Base. Make a little circle. Not really a circle. I mean a line. So when you have the other line, then it intersects. You have somewhat a actual center. So uh, take a marking knife and put a very fine tip, give it a nice little indent so the drill bit doesn't just skate along. I could bore you and uh, drill through all these individually, but that's just going to be too long and it's going to be too hard to edit. I'm not editing this. I also need some backing to this. My ugly piece of redwood, which is really not standing too flat. So. Everything's plugged in, everything is unsafe, uh, eyeballing it, seems about right, uh, I'm trying to get my hand comfortable here, uh, obviously don't do this, uh, you're not supposed to, you're supposed to drill using a clamp or something, but I don't. Do you have, huh? Uh, Metsomatic TS 8000. I don't want to see it in the comments. Uh, you're gonna fuck up the temper of the blade by heating it up. Shut the fuck up. I'm using a nigglesome file. Look at it. Oh wow. My temper is gonna be ruined from my file. They're literally like 99 cents at any yard sale. So, I will burn a slot through these now, and uh, that's pretty much how it goes. There'll be a lot of editing in the future because. It takes too damn long to just watch you watch me heat up a torch file. Whatever. Okay, I don't want a red hot. We're not quenching a knife. I know when to do it. And here we go. Keeping it straight. Smells like incense, it smells like grandma's house. It smells like campfire. Should have just made a fucking hole through it. Back at it again. So we have somewhat of a slit right now, right? We're gonna do the same thing on the other end, so we don't like fuck it up when we go through it in the actual thing. Uh, you gotta be careful. You can only do this with certain woods. Some woods will actually crack. I mean, harder woods like hickory will just, and then it'll burn yourself and you'll cry. Okay, so subconsciously, I knew I didn't want to drill a hole. It's because of the type of blades I'm using. I'll explain it some more in a second. I'm trying to force this shit through. Ooh, barbecue. That's hot. <laughs> Is that what that means? No, so that means like baked or some bullshit like that. Oh. Okay, so why can't we just drill a hole? 
If these blades are actually really thick, as you can see, baby she thick. Drilling a hole that big, which would be what? Fucking, I don't know, half an inch? That'd be a lot to drill through. Uh, this piece of wood is getting really hot, so I'm going to put it to the side. I'm going to start working on the other ones. History in the making. So they fit. Uh, obviously, we can put our bolsters on. And yeah, one step closer to being finished. Not a safe way of using an angle grinder, but um, you read my comments, you can see lack of fucks I really have. Practice that I never fucking let go of. I like free hand drilling. A lot. You're like, oh, I was about to get epoxy on the camera. Okay. We will start the assembly. Okay. Make sure it fits. Okay, now imagine trying to do this all in five minutes or less. Fuck that. Fuck that. Okay, so I have no clue if you guys can actually see this very well. It's a very small camera that I'm trying out. Um, about to suit up and grind the four knives and see if they actually turn out very well. They look like they turn out pretty good, but I'm not a fan of cloth anymore. Uh, it won't be interactive because my wife is <laughs> currently doing laundry, so she can't move the camera constantly. But uh, I think it's going to be pretty smooth. I won't show too much footage of grinding because that's kind of boring. But I will show you the squared up blades after they are done. Here's everything squared up. We see that all the lines uh, turn out good, all the glue joints and everything. And uh, everything looks nice. Has a nice collar pattern to it. Uh, 
Everything was actually very pretty. Uh, so let's actually go over here for a second. And I would like to show you a previous knife that I made, if I can actually find it. There it is. Uh, it's a Mora number one blade, but it's a different style handle. Not the same usually that I do, but uh, it actually has two little curves and the usual tail at the end. And I think that's what I'm going to aim with these, actually. Um, how did I achieve that? Well, um, obviously can't record everything, but uh, as you can see, I have cut this off right here for my uh, grinder to be able to use the radius right here. So this radius happens to perfectly be what I needed once, twice, belt grinder right here. And uh, I like to keep the sharp points and when I taper it in so it has a nice uh, distinct shape. Uh, this is actually finished in uh, wood harner. Uh, I believe this is yellow canary wood and bird's eye maple and some vulcanized fiber. Nothing too exotic, right? Uh, it's a work knife, but it actually turned out very nice in comparison to most knives in general. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, give that all the shape. I only have 17 minutes able to record left in this memory card. So I'll leave that for the end in some commentary and such. So yeah. And here we have the sanding part. We have wonderful wifey sanding by hand because she's so meticulous. You ready to do this one? No. I could tell. <laughs> so I gave you that good old shape and she, my hands are a little wet so you can kind of see what it's going to look like. And she's giving it that good old sanding all around and you see the shape. I like it. Not exactly what I was aiming for, but I like it. It looks complements very well. And they're going to look wonderful once, once I'm oiled. I'm going to help her out and we'll show her some oiling. <laughs> so, we have our wonderful boiled linseed oil. And uh, we're just going to dip and go. Call me back in high school. Oh, don't hit me. Okay. It looks really nice. Let's do a little drip right here. See? Oh, it looks pretty good. What was that? The Seabird Water Bukori? No, that's... I don't remember Chechen, anymore. I Chechen? I don't remember anymore. <laughs> or was that a bar? I don't remember anymore. Okay, go ahead and dip it. Another one in there. Beautiful. Majestic. 100%. They actually turn out really nice. I don't know if the camera is catching these nice earthy tones, but uh, pictures will prove much better. Oh, dip right in the oil hole. How much are we going to sell these for? Enough. Enough? Enough. Hundred dollars. What would you say? Enough to restore the Oh thing? shit, what the fuck happened to that? Oh, what wood is that? Uh, oh, that's, that's Tulip. Yep, that's Tulip. I was like, that shit's pick as fuck. I love that. So, I'm sure if you can see very well, it will look a lot better in the sun. Uh, this is Tulip Wood and Ibarra? Chechen. Chechen? Whatever. I can't remember. It, I just Chechen make them. was Dulles. So, it actually looks pretty nice nice uh, grain to it. Following that, we have the Chechen and Tulip Wood. Uh, it has a nice little rustic feel to it. This one is actually my favorite because uh, it feels nice. Chechen actually polishes up really well. Doesn't look like shit. Uh, then we have the... Zebra and Ibarra. Zebra and Ibarra. There's some nice little marks right here. And the Zebra Wood always straight looking like... Oof. It looks nice. <laughs> Needs more oil. You can already feel it. And lastly, zebra wood never fails to impress when it comes to a large section. I like the little knot right there. Yep, and right there. <laughs> looks, they all both look really well. 
Uh, we're not sure if we're going to sell them individually. I think we're going to sell them like a pair. So uh, you can buy them as a straight pair and be like, Oh yeah, they actually they set us a sale. Yeah, they match. How about you and your husband or some bullshit like that? <laughs> so that's that. And uh, we'll take some beautiful pictures and call it a day. I'm going to go eat because I've been starving since I started this project. <laughs>